Hi, we're going to write programs or applications inside the TI-84 or TI-83 program. They're pretty much the same, the calculator. Um, we're going to write a program for a circle to calculate the circumference and area and then display it when you enter the radius. I'm going to put this aside so you can pause the video, write down these commands. The space have no significance, just for readability. And then, I'll, then you can continue the video afterwards. You turn on the calculator, press program right here, program, and then we go over to new and create new, press enter. Once we press enter, it's in alpha mode and we want to be able to type in the name of the program and we're going to call it circle, C-I-R-C-L-E. Notice that the alpha letters are above to the right of each of the keys. Then you press enter. That puts us in the program entry mode or edit mode, one of the two. And to get the first command, it's clear home. So we're going to say program and that tells the calculator we're going to go get the commands and we go to the input output and clear home is number eight. So you can press eight or you can press enter and clear home to get to the next line. We press enter and now we want to get another command. Notice the commands are intercap, and the ones that are not commands are all capitals. So you enter all capitals, but if it's a command, then the calculator has to recognize it. It's called intercap notation. Instead of a space, it puts capitals. So we want to get prompt, which is a command. So we're going to press program, I-O, and notice prompt is number two. So you press two or enter. So we did input, that would be a mistake. So to clear that, you delete or clear, press program to go back where you want it to go, I-O, and you can press two or go down to prompt and press enter. Now we're back where we should be. Now to get the R put in there, we put alpha because it's an alpha letter. So alpha R and then that completes that line so we press enter. Now we want to tell the calculator to do the calculation. Now not always all the calculators require a multiplication but we'll do that for emphasis. So it's going to be 2 times the radius so that's alpha r times pi and that second pi is on the calculator there and we want to store it in a variable so that we can display it. So we use store right here so we press store, that gives us the arrow. And then we do alpha C, uh, alpha C for circumference, and the C is there. Press enter. And then we do pi times the radius, alpha R, alpha. And then the square is that key right there, square key, square. And now we want to store that in A for area, store alpha A. So that the, completes the two formulas, or the calculation, and now we want to display the answers. So we take the answer, um, and we want to put it, but we want to put a label in front of it. So we're going to program, go to input, output, and down to number three, display. We want to display a word, so we have to tell the calculator it's a word and don't not multiply our variables. So we're going to do alpha quotes, and then area. Alpha A, Alpha R, Alpha E, Alpha A, Alpha quotes, and then comma, it's above the 7, and then Alpha A. That completes that line. It can be done faster by just doing Alpha lock once you put the command in there, so let's try that. Program, I-O, display. And now we can do second alpha lock, and that keeps it in alpha until we're done. It'll be faster. Quotes, and we're going to put in circ for circumference. C, I, R, C, and then close the quotes. Now press alpha to take it out of alpha mode. Notice the cursor is now blank, or solid. Now put comma, and then we have alpha C. And now we want to, once we've done that, we want to tell the calculator to stop. So we press program to get a command. 
and stop is in the control column. And if you scroll down until you get to stop, keep going until you get to stop, and there it is, and you press enter, and now you've completed the program. So we do second quit to leave it, to try it out, press program, and then we select circle, which is number eight, and it says, okay, that's what you wanna do. We press enter to say yes, and then we put a radius in there and we'll put in two, just for an example. Let me do that. And the area comes out to be 12 something and the circumference comes out to be 12 something. 